This is um, Julian from Digital Pebble and uh, I'm the author of Stormcrawler and in this uh, tutorial I want to show you how to um, set up Stormcrawler with Elasticsearch and, and how we use Kibana uh, with, with that. So let's, um, let's start with a um, A uh, we need a, we need a, we need a project. So let's um, let's start with this. So I uh, will call the um, Maven archetype. So what this does is that it gives us a starting point for um, building a Stormcrawler project. So it gives us you know, a basic set of configurations like the minimal dependencies and everything. So it's uh, it's an easy way. Of getting started, so let's see. Um, call that demo artifact is demo. Yes, all good. So let's have a look. Um, <coughs> I won't go into too many details about the the basic <coughs> sorry elements of Storm Crawler. I'll focus more on the uh, stuff which is specific to Elasticsearch. So what this gave us here is a set of um, a set of resources. So yeah. filters, URL filters, pass filters, and also a Java class for the topology, which we're not going to use. So I, I will kill this, and I will also kill. The, uh, the default Flux thing. So Flux is a fantastic module which is part of Storm. So instead of having you know that Java class I just deleted, defined a um, topology. So instead here, what we um, what we do is we um, we use a, a, a file to define the, the steps. So all good. Now what do we need? We need some resources from um, Elasticsearch, so I'll go into my Stormcrawler um, code, so it's uh, version 1.4 as we speak. Uh, so we need a few things, we need, um, I'll take the Kibana dashboard, and I'll take the con configuration, the flux, a script, and I'll take the readme as well. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, replace the README. Actually, we won't replace it. Um, the one in, in, we'll just copy the, um, now we will keep the old one actually. It's, uh, there's less stuff, it's easier to understand. Right, so, Ah, we need we need also a set of URLs to get to um, to crawl from. So let's copy this one here. So I think we're pretty good. Now we have our basic filters and everything. That's fine. We have uh, the default crawler conf configuration. So that's things like um, yeah, which filters to use and 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 so on and so on. Um, so that's fine, we can leave this as it is. We'll just um, look at the, quickly at the um, configuration which is specific to Elasticsearch. So this is, um, we could have put that in the other, in the main configuration file. I put them in a separate one just because it's, you know, it's simpler. So here we define, we use, we use Storm Elasticsearch sorry, for three things with Stormcrawler. Um, we can use it for uh, indexing the documents that have been fetched and parsed, etc. And do you know, the usual queries and information retrieval on those documents. But we also use it for um, metrics, so that we can um, monitor the crawl, and that's and especially using Kibana, so I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, it's, it's very useful. And also, we use that for storing 
the information we have about the URLs. So for, the, for those of you who know Nudge, that's the equivalent. So when I refer to the status index, think about CrawlDB. So like, um, you know, data structure containing all the information about the URLs, the ones that have been fetched, not fetched, when they are due for fetching, various metadata, and so on. Uh, and this is the configuration for um, for, for um, those different uh, resources. And here we just register the um, the code that will send the metrics to um, to Elasticsearch. Now this is good. Uh, we can. There's another thing I wanted to show you. It's the um, <coughs> sorry the um, initialization script for Elasticsearch. So we create those three indices: the status, index, and metrics. Um, and here it's just the mapping. We just tell Elasticsearch to help it sort of uh, with the different types and, and, and values. Um, all good. Now if we look at here, an important thing is the number of shards. Now with with, with the status index, we um, we put the uh, URLs into different shards based on their you know, host name or domain name. So that's for um, politeness, that we don't have several spouts you know, sending in parallel URLs from the same URLs, sorry, from the same domain or host name, um, you know, they would still be with a sort of control on the politeness further down the topology, but it would be just clogging the topology with URLs from the same um, source. It would not be very efficient. So we want diversity. We want a good mix of, of hosts and domains so that we can use as many threads as possible in parallel for, for fetching. Um, now we need, we have 10 shards. So if I now look at my um, uh, configuration, so the flux script for the main, for the crawl. So we have two flux files. We have one for the injection and one for the crawl. The first one, you know, the injection is about, yeah, as the name suggests, send URLs as a starting point into Elasticsearch. And then the main crawl will just, you know, run continuously on, on that. Um, so yeah, we need to set a parallelism of 10 with the Elasticsearch spout so that we have 10 instances and they all connect individually to a shard. So it's a good way of achieving parallelism. And the rest is pretty straightforward. It's the usual storm crawler stuff. So a fetcher, the parsers, uh, but here we have it, the um, Elasticsearch indexer bolt. So when we fetch and parse a document, we then index the, its main text and the metadata into Elasticsearch. And then we have the um, the one that the, mo the module that sends the uh, modifies the status of the URLs into into the index. So all good. Now, first thing, let's run the. Um, that's not the right one. I'll send that away. It's this one. So one thing we need to do is we need to modify the pump file to add the. Um, the Elasticsearch module. So remember, in Stormcrawler, we have you know the core module, so all the basic bolts and everything, and then everything else is grouped by um, in the uh, in the subdirectory external into submodules. Because you know, if you use Elasticsearch, wow, well, you don't need to have Solar as well, and so on. So it's a way of keeping things tidy. Right. So that should work. We shall see. Let's try. So let's um, compile this thing. So we'll get um, a nice big jar file with all the dependencies, all the resources, all ready to go. And let's see, uh, that readme, I'll just copy the um, the line here. Uh, yeah, that's this one. So yeah, all good. So what I want to do now is, so I'll call so we've generated that, that enormous jar file, so I'll pass it to, to the storm command. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we can then, um, so call flux in local mode. And uh, yes, with the, so not with the crawler flux, but with the um, injector flux and a, and a, and a sleep time a substantial sleep time. Now, one thing I forgot to do is to look into injection flux and check the name 
So it needs a file called seeds.txt and we had something which had um, a different name. So let's rename this baby into seeds.txt and I think we are ready to go. Um, let's see. And no, we're not. Um, so I think, yes, yeah, just here the path. Let me fix this. Um, and I think I had it in let me see um, yeah Apache Storm 103 bin right let's try that I just had just forgotten to copy the uh, Right, so let's try. I mean, these are the sort of things that happen, and it's uh, it's good to someone else see, uh, make the mistakes so that you don't do it yourself. Uh, great, seems to be better now. So I have. Oh, I need to call the um, init script. I don't think I've done it to create and instantiate my indices. So let's summarize. We have don't need this anymore. So we have a status index, Elasticsearch up and running with a status index and the main index and also the, the metrics. We have Storm running in, in locally on this machine. And I also have Kibana, which is empty. That's from an old thing. Now let's start the, uh, the indexing and see how it goes. Um, I will just change one tiny little thing. Um, just to be picky really because it would work just as well without it um, I just want to change the here the in the configuration I'll just give it I'm um, just temporarily modify the max spout, pen, spe, spout pending so that the uh, the injection goes a bit faster right fingers crossed local mode so it reads from the far and uses the uh, status update bolt to send into the various shards um, in a similar way as the, uh, the main topology will be doing on these um, on these indices. So so far so good. And in a second we should see a log message. Um, yes, about the uh, things being acted. That's it. It's done the one thousand. Uh, if I look here. And Kibana, um, no, I'm not looking to Kibana, I'm looking to this chap here. Uh, so, yes, I do have my 1000 documents. All good. Now, let me revert this because if I put with the, um, that was just for the injection, we could afford to have a, a large value for the max part pending. But with a real crawl, if we have too large a, a spout pending value, then it will just clog the, the topology with. URLs and um, because of the politeness things will time out and so on it will be a bit messy so best to have a lower value here now um, we can we can start the main topology uh, and for that so we won't we're not gonna we're not going to do this in um, in local mode so we'll do that in remote mode in this case with my setup remote being my machine, so it's a pseudo distributed mode. Um, remote with ES crawler that flux, fingers crossed, and see how it goes. So we should, Storm will do, and flux will do its um, work with passing the configuration files, you know, defining what the different variables are and everything. And now we can see it as. It has uh, sent the topology to Storm. So let's have a look at Storm, and we can see the um, yeah that we have a crawler going. So that's fab. Let's have a quick look at um, content. So here yeah, it's just started, so the uh, the stats are not up to date yet. So we can see our various our various modules here. Um, and again, I won't go into any fine tuning or or, 
or anything but um, let's just wait a little bit and we should see yes we can begin to see some some interesting stats here so um, yeah it's running so good now if I do that again if I refresh this I'll see if yeah a lot more entries in the status index so it has started um, sort of discovering new, new season and everything so using just the um, yeah <coughs> the core sorry elastic search like this search is is um, is is simple but it, you know, it's not very useful for monitoring or discovering problems or anything what I want to do is to use Kibana for this okay, so take two um, so we are now with Kibana we want to explore a bit the uh, the content of the status index we want to see the metrics um, and so on so first thing first the metrics index so first thing to define the indices I need with Kibana so metrics and it's time based and it has the time field name is timestamp created next I want one which doesn't have a uh, time base status create and also we'll add the domain index index just for just for fun create good so we have let's go into discover um, so status we can see the um, what information we have about URLs so you know, any metadata or anything that's pretty useful the main index well we'll see um, probably HTML pages which have been indexed and, and yeah, their content and so on you can, can run search searches on this uh, and the metrics so we have the um, the, the metrics generated by the modules in Storm Crawler, but also the generic Storm metrics. So we could use just the discover mode, but luckily we have um, we have um, dashboards. So let's load the um, our dashboards. So I did put them in. Um, Yes, demo, Kibana. So let's start with the uh, metrics one. Oh yeah, it's just because I had forgotten to <coughs> sorry do the visualizations. So here we are. We have crawl metrics. Now let's look at it. So this displays the uh, the metrics generated so we can see the uh, pages fetched per 30 seconds total bytes the urls waiting in the queues and so on the active threads um, and loads of other interesting things um, so this is you know you can easily add your own visualizations modify the ones you know these are just the starting point really um, so it's a good way of, of keeping an eye on the crawl and and have a better understanding of what happens with it. Of course, the storm UI is also extremely valuable. Um, so you see this this scroll is going well. Everything was quite easy, to, quite, easy to, e, quite easy to set up. Sorry, um, you can see that most of the time it's actually spent passing the data. Let's just um, and we'll finish on this for today. Well, let's just uh, import uh, our status. Um, dashboard so let's have a look at it so we can see on the left hand side the, the breakdown per status so as the crawl progresses well it will discover more and more urls fetch more and more of them um, and so on have more and more redirections and then you can see here you know, the count per uh, per host name uh, of the, the, the various urls so that's it. I hope you uh, you found this uh, tutorial useful. Um, again, this wasn't into any details of Storm Crawler, and, and uh, there's loads of ways. It's it's really modular. You can you can modify it so that it does exactly what you what you need. And I think that's what um, the people who already use it really enjoy with it. And as we've seen, it's pretty easy to. Uh, 
to have a, you know, a basic starting point. Um, and um, yes, the Elasticsearch resources for uh, Stormcrawler are very mature. Uh, it's very efficient. Uh, we compared recently with Nudge and we found that uh, it was uh, at least 60% faster. With you know, the more recent versions of, of Stormcrawler, it, it's even faster. Um, so yeah, please give it a try. And if you have any questions or anything, um, use Stack Overflow or the mailing list. Have fun. Bye.